Hey, hi, hello, welcome back to my new video. This is Sampath. You are watching Sampath Sanfx YouTube channel, and this is Poco X3 Custom ROM Reviews. In this video, I am going to show this Pixel OS, guys. If I can slide down here, Android version 14, you guys can see here. This is the Pixel OS for Poco X3 slash NFC. And kernel user is 4.14.334 Dark Moon. Dark Moon Remedy kernel has been used build number you can see that's the latest build available 2024 build but we still get December 5th 2023 is the security patch and if you are first time to this channel hit that subscribe button down below guys and also allow the bell notification by pressing the bell icon and if you like the video give it like and this is the standard quick settings panel in the edit section you get plenty of options here as you can see this is the options you get if you want you can drag them and add here you also get sync option now dolby atmos is given let's try that yeah we'll add here yeah fine sync option is present as i said before dolby atmos let's open that yeah you get proper dolby atmos support in this particular room as you can see you can customize and play around them and make settings which is cool in my opinion and this is typical dialer you get a google dialer with video call support and also direct video call support is there and also call recording feature is there but it will announce that other person you are recording the call the user interface is quite similar to any of the android 14 as you can see this is the settings panel and this is the quick settings panel as i shown before you get slight uh, animation here as you can see if you turn on the bluetooth and flashlight whatever in the quick settings panel you get a little uh, you know the animation and wallpaper some style and widgets you get proper android 14 widgets as you can see battery widget and even the clock widgets different styles are available in this particular rom so let's move into some of the benchmark results and all before that, I want to show this DRM information in this particular room. As you can see, you'll get a level 1 certified. Hence, you need to watch. If you want to watch in high definition resolution, that's possible in this particular room. And this one, as you can see, it's get failed in cities profile match. Hence, you cannot use the payment applications here. That's the one big minus here. And Android benchmark result app, as you can see here, this is the scores what I got 3,66,943. And temperature down here one degree celsius and battery percentage is also three percentage of down during this entire testing guys and we also get this wiper fx uh, however my channel is also sampath sam fx if you're still not subscribed subscribe it guys and as you can see you will get different types of varieties of sound systems here you can play around them while playing your music files you can use the camera application you get just basic here if you want something advanced you can use always the gcam puts my favorite one is ano gcam and as of now we also get agc camera and other things you can check out them and as i said file manager here some of the benchmark results you guys can see 33 watt charging support is there and the single score is 754 and multi score is 1859 linux 4.14.334 dark moon remedy kernel and this is 100 test guys the cpu throttling test as you can see there's a result what i got maximum is 194 average 175 and minimum is 132 and it's throttled to 81 percent of its max performance and this is anti benchmark results what i shown it's simple and easy ui pixel OS, as you can see you get this latest lock screen customization this is the one i have shown in the uh, shorts video check out that video too as you can see this is the customization you get in terms of locks and this is the only visual change we can see in the, any of the uh, android 14 rooms both tap to wake and tap to sleep options are given but tap to sleep is not working in the home screen not even in the quick settings yeah it's working tap to wake is working anywhere on the screen but just tap to sleep is not working on the home screen that you need to keep in mind fingerprint scanner is also working fine face unlock is also working fine here i think so we don't have face unlock here let's check that once yeah face unlock is working fine let me try that yeah as you can see how quick the face unlock using the smartphone you can unlock your smartphone and we'll see some of the other settings and move on to bgmi 
how it handles and system as you can see again gestures everything remains same as swipe to three finger screenshot quick touch playback control one and it more navigation mode again gesture navigation you won't get any extra feature this is simple pixel kind of os guys you need to keep in these things mind and accessibility menu is also given and some of the other options you can see here display size and text and talk back display color motion extra day magnification accessibility menu which is a handy feature without actually touching the physical buttons of volume you can access them here as you can see volume up and down that's a handy feature you should definitely try it out in this particular rom and other settings like sound and vibration again you get plenty of options here clear speaker option is also implemented vibration and haptics also you get plenty of options these are the settings and the other things as of now the ui is very very smooth and responsive there is no lag whatsoever this is my certain review for this particular rom let's see how it handle actually in bgm and what are the graphic settings we get you guys can see this is the graphic settings we get here just smooth plus alpha no option to increase high fs as of now with this particular rom but using magics you can do that let's see in the 40 fps how it handles and you also get this kind of quick settings panel while playing the game it is also smooth the experience is smooth but i have got here anyhow Okay. This is the volume panel. I have just increased the volume. Okay. The gameplay is fine, but according to 40 FPS, you can't expect more than this. But if you know how to enable 90 FPS using Magix models, then it will be even better in my opinion. Okay, I'll come back here. This of the UI guys, uh, everything is working fine. I have no complaints regarding this particular room. Uh, as you can see, this how it actually the pixel was. Uh, January 1st, 2024 early build this is. You might get later uh, with uh, January security patch build. But as of now, this is the build. I definitely recommend this if you are looking for pixel experience or pixel OS. This is the good ROM available for Poco XC slash NFC. And flashing method and everything will be explained in the description. Check out the description. We'll meet you with another interesting video, guys. Until that, keep smiling. Bye bye for now.